Good morning. So how do we pray with Lexio Divina? I just want to give a few ideas that might help you um, enter into your own time of prayer with the Sacred Scriptures. And for your reference, um, we have these Lexio Divina cards in the literature racks at the back of the church. So feel free to come to church and take one of these. The church is still open for personal prayer during this time. So the first thing that we want to do with Lexio Divina is to find a quiet place. That can be a place like here in the church, or it can be in your own home. Go to your room, close the door, give yourself some quiet away from all the distractions of life. And then you want to open the scriptures, pray to the Holy Spirit, ask, ask him for his guidance to enlighten your heart and mind, to understand what God has to say to you through this passage. And then as you read the passage, read it slowly and prayerfully, listening for what God is saying to you. Ask yourself, how is this passage relevant to my life right now? And as you continue reading it slowly and prayerfully, meditating on the words, look for a word or a phrase that jumps out to you and speak to God about that part of the passage. It's helpful for me to have a prayer journal where I can write down my own thoughts and the lights and inspirations that I receive from the passage. Sometimes the, my journal looks like a dialogue. I'm writing my questions, my thoughts, and then what the scripture is saying to me as well. Then another way that we can reflect on scripture is to use our imagination. So we can imagine being a person present in the scene. We can imagine if Christ were speaking these words to me directly. Imagine the sights, the sounds, um, the smells. What feelings might I, might I be experiencing if I were one of the characters in this scene? And take 10 or 15 minutes at least to go through all of these different steps. And then at the end, make sure to thank God for this time. Even if you didn't experience any particular lights, Thank him for the time that you got to spend with him because God is acting in our hearts even if we can't feel it. Um, so I encourage you to take some time today and every day the rest of Lent to encounter Christ through the scriptures. God bless you.